architecture is kind of like a language with an infinite syntax and an infinite grammar, so you can actually invent new things as you go along. Design creativity and poetry to nuts and bolts of how things are made and how they go together. Art, science, philosophy and history all together at one big melting point. Taking a step back and assessing what, what's there now. I like the thought of driving past the house and you're like, I'd do that. I feel like if you can understand the building, you can understand everything about a place. The relevance of the job is greater than it's ever been. Whether you're a surveyor, an architect, a technologist. We must change the way we work. We must change the way the industry thinks. You don't have to be groundbreaking. You don't have to be the Einstein. You just need to find out where, very slowly, you can improve on things and make them better. So there's got to be that motivation there to look for innovative solutions to problems. We're using much more technology than we've ever done before. There's just, there are so many big changes coming around the corner. It's about designing for the future. You have to dare to be different. I think the school's always had a sort of mixture of creativity and practicality in what it does. We have great facilities here, we've got great workshop. Like our whole building's very open plan. So we have one big studio. We can discuss our ideas with each other even if we're not working on the same project. The fact that we have disciplines within the school which actually represent that sort of inception to completion. You feel like you're part of a collection. Scott Sutherland is a school that has extremely strong ties with industry. When you go in and practice, you, you're kind of set up for it. Well, where would you like to be um, entering into the profession? Who would you like to work with? And let's think about how you're going to get you there.